up guys pony diamond here if you guys haven't seen my story part one and two I'll put the link down in the description you know it's always fun telling the story and i love telling it it's a great way to remind myself what's up you know but anyway today's not about that <laughs> but i'll put the link down here in the description um on my way to bellevue lamborghini and mclaren but before that i gotta stop and meet a client or a shareholder real quick so uh, guess what as always you get to come along for the ride another field trip basically <clears throat> so you love lamborghinis hit like subscribe <laughs> you love supercars hit subscribe <clears throat> of course if you love uh super trucks like this guy subscribe too. <clears throat> and as always mentorship uh fuck what is it mentorship and entrepreneurship notice i always messed up this part hit subscribe do it uh. Before you guys wonder, you really go see your client and shareholder like this? Yes. <laughs> My wife's like, really? You really doing this? Eh, well, I've been doing it for 10 years, over 10 years. My wife said that I look like Sonic the Hedgehog. I looked at it and go, now you're getting it. You're getting it now. I don't know if you guys ever had to do this, but obviously I left my garage opener in the, in the uh, Diamond Beast. So now I'm gonna have to basically <laughs> hit that button and there's a sensor down here, so I'm gonna have to basically do the ghetto uh, shit right here. Mm. Look, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Voila, nothing in the garage, all empty and shit. So, as always, you get to come along. Don't start laughing. Bullshit! Anyway, I was trying to get my head a wrap around the McLaren brand and uh, the dealership where we're heading off to uh, is actually uh, McLaren, Rolls Royce, Bentley, Lamborghini, all you know, all in one, you know. And I don't know, I've been giving giving it some thought, you know, in terms of the whole McLaren thing, but I don't know much about it other than like electronic or electric. Uh, sensors and things like that or I you know read up on the forum anyway so trying to check it out I guess throughout the day we'll kind of throw out two different ideas and you know I already know I'm gonna want both just so you guys know but in terms of in terms of which one would be first <laughs> that's probably what we're gonna be talking about before that though I gotta pay the toll uh. Hi. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. So I think that you know when it comes to things that you like, especially when you're growing up, right? It has a lot to do with what you're trying to accomplish. You know, because that's why they call middle age uh, crisis, right? <laughs> I think I, technically speaking, I had the uh, middle age crisis since I was like, like 19. <laughs> so it doesn't never really change, you know. Some people go, oh, that guy has a middle life crisis. And I'm thinking, like, well, some people have that all their lives, uh, all their life, you know, like, like me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, the whole Lamborghini thing is, it was always my dream, you know. Uh, never really excited got excited too much about Ferrari not because it was bad it's probably because of the fact that um, I don't know man it's just Lamborghini's more and more more excitement behind the brand you know the the car design and things like that even though which is a funniest thing is that <laughs> I guess those Countaches and Diablos and stuff like that they're all shitty to drive you know they're not driver's car they're more like halo cars um you know, poser, posing type cars, you know. But 
I didn't care, man. I was never in it because I needed to be, you know, the best race car driver or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, I know, I always knew, like, you can learn that, right? You can learn all that, you know what I mean? It was To me, it was all about the nostalgia, the uh, image about, you know, the success look, the cool look, you know, not even the success look, actually. That would be, uh, sorry, uh, navigation. It's more of the... The excitement, the cool guy, you know what I mean? Like, I never want to live my life normal like everybody else, you know? Look at the hair. I'm on my way to go meet my client or, uh, slash shareholder. It's like, who does that, you know? But I do because I don't give a fuck. That's what it is right there. Anyway, McLaren jumped into the road cars uh, market, you know, probably because they saw this, the success of the Lamborghini uh, line, you know? Uh, can't blame them for that, right? Just like uh, Ferrari is about to come out with their SUV because they saw Lamborghini did it. Well, Lamborghini saw Porsche did it. <laughs> so forth and so forth. You know, Bentley, now they have the SUV. So does the uh, Rolls Royce, you know. You know what it is? I hate to say this, but they're realizing that most of these dudes that buy supercars have wife or mistresses or wives. And they're trying to make it a more like a little more family oriented, you know what I mean? And, and unfortunately, and fortunately, I think they're right. Because when I go to shop my supercars, man, I, I hate to say this, but <laughs> the minute I bring my wife, <laughs> they know it's going down, you know what I mean? So they know that at the end of the day, most of the successful guys are gonna have their significant other, you know, um, either the wife, mistresses, mistress, or girlfriend. Anyway. So yeah, it's it's not just it's not just the owner, you know, the supercar guy is actually the wife or the girlfriend. Hey, are you inside? Oh, okay. Hey, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh gosh. Oh, I was done with my meeting. That was kind of fun. It's always fun meeting investors, shareholders, things like that. But you know what? On my way uh, to Lamborghini uh, McLaren. That's gonna be more fun. But look, <laughs> check this shit out. It's the Shelby Beast drinking. Oh man, it's gonna hit, hit 100 bucks guaranteed. Oh, shit, look what we got here. We got a Speciale. Oh. You know what? Actually, I should actually head to the Ferrari dealership too, man. I should actually head there. Back at Lamborghini, McLaren, Bellevue. So, you know, as always, always nice to see what they got going on here. I don't know about the 570S, man. I'm not feeling it. When it first came out, I was kind of, kind of looking at it, but not really. Oh man, this is the 9720S right here. It's a shame it's out here all dirty and shit. It is what it is, I guess. Better in Vegas. <laughs> it's nice though. Just so you guys know, I never test drove any exotics. I just buy <laughs> before I even know what it feels like. <laughs> so if I ever pull a 720S, it'd be probably because out of the sheer fact that I'm interested, you know, I never I never test drove anything, just so you know. I don't know, man, like, I'm such a Lamborghini guy, though, you know? I'm sure it's badass. We feel fast as hell, but, Look at this. So you don't get the glass engine though. You get like uh, like a see-through engine. The engine's like right here. I would do a spider. They wouldn't. <laughs> but then you go spider, forget about it. Like you're not even gonna see shit back there, right? And that's why I love the Venador S Roadster and like SVJ, you know, because it's badass and you can see the engine. At least you know a glimpse of it. You know, it's a green one. Wow, so many S. And all the other big baller cars like this one. Wow. 
Black edition. You guys fucking know I hate coming in dealerships. <laughs> so he kind of cool guy though. So see if we get anywhere. I'm supposed to speak about my car, but I was gonna ask him a couple questions to determine this deposit next week. <laughs> Good man, how you doing? I'm gonna pick it up the car tomorrow. I guess it's done. So McLaren is certainly coming up, you know, up and comer. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, aggressive uh, <coughs> campaign, obviously, coming out with cars every year, I think, you know. So I'm definitely interested. I just don't know how much passion I would have for it, you know what I mean? I, you know, try to give everything a chance, right? But. I'm just saying, you know, that, that's my thought right now. Um, I know they had a huge problem with the whole price drop and all that kind of stuff, but so does the fucking Aventador. <laughs> it's like, it's all bad investments, guys. Yeah, he told me about this one. Yep. And there's a roaster coming out too, right? On his way here? I think so. This is the Le Mans color? Ah, uh, I don't know. I yeah, so. Le Mans. That's what he'd be telling me. So he... I remember little Jaguar came out with the uh, French blue, which was a similar color. So is this sold or not sold? Huh? I think this is pre-sold. I think so too, because he kind of mentioned somebody, you know, from Scottsdale. Right? I do not Where, know. Uh, I don't get to know. Dude, it's sick, man. I'm a Lamborghini guy, man. Every time I see it, my heart pounds. You know, I love it. It's <laughs> All right, so I had a talk with Shaheen. Very good. Probably the coolest uh, conversations we ever had. And I give him a lot of props, man. He's a real cool guy, you know. Um, he did have bad news that they may have ran out of their allocations. So I kind of uh, told him to, you know, it's kind of like a suggestion. I certainly do not want to tell him how to run his business, right? That's his business, you know. But anyway, so he was going to talk to the, to the uh, I guess, district manager to see if... I was basically I told him, look, man, I was kind of mistreated, you know. So anyway, he was gonna have another chat with the district manager at Lamborghini to see if they can get another allocation because they do have a Roadster SVJ on the way already, you know. But he's with me. Does he doesn't agree that? He, why can't he get another one? That's kind of where we're at. But check this out. Diamond Beast, right there. Hmm. Look at that thing. Mm. Diamond Beast reunited back there. So here's something interesting. Every time I see Lamborghini now, you will see McLaren here too. So that uh, looks like that is. 600 LT or yeah, it looks like a 600 625 LT. Could be wrong. 720s. Hmm. So McLaren is so McLarens, you know, obviously, as I stated earlier, they're not pushing a lot of road cars, you know, in trying to grab some market share, right? That Lamborghini and Ferrari have, you know, have enjoyed. <laughs> And I think they're doing a good job, you know, it's just that I'm not so familiar. Not familiar, I'm just too loyal to Lamborghini, man. But I did told you guys before I wanted to have three different brands, right? Ferrari, McLaren, and Lamborghini, all three, you know? I am that kind of guy. Check this one out, though. 720S. <coughs> Way too cool, man. I just love cars, dude. I don't know about you guys, I just love cars. And I don't really have any discrimination between brands, but my heart belongs to Lamborghini, the bull. Something about it, the bull, man. Hmm. All right, guys, I want to thank you for following, you know, my uh, road trip, if you will. Thank you for coming aboard <laughs> to follow me on my SVJ roster. <laughs> Other than that, you saw the, you know, the Diamond Beast. He's uh, ready to come home, actually. So, Shaheen, the sales guy, is very awesome. I had a good talk with him. He said, you know what, despite it, the, I guess the district manager says that their, uh, their capacity, 
he's gonna still email him one more time to find out what's up because I was mistreated in a way, you know, from the other dealership. And I said to him, yeah, that'd be kind of cool, man. You should try that, you know. But anyway, I also told him that I'm big in relationships. So even if that's not, is a no-go at the, with Shaheen at his dealership, I kind of suggest to him maybe we, should, we can do like a broker or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm big on relationships, but guys, just l- learn that, by the way. Don't just jump ship and go somewhere else. You know, no, he's a cool guy. I want to give him the opportunity. So far, he's been very nice, you know, and I appreciate his help and, you know, good conversations. Other than that, you know, I'm going to update you guys some more. Hey, tomorrow I'm going to upload the uh, week four recap. So check that out. It's going to be pretty cool. Other than that, you love uh, Lamborghinis? Hit subscribe. <coughs> you love uh, supercars? Hit subscribe. <coughs> and of course, if you love uh, super trucks? Hit subscribe. <coughs> and like always, entrepreneurship and also mentorship. I got it <laughs> smooth this time. Hit subscribe, do it. <clears throat>